Today's biology video is about the human brain structure or the parts of the human brain. Okay, and I have to place the parts one by one to build the human brain. Now I will begin with the biggest part of the brain, which is the cerebrum. I have practiced to pronounce these words. So, the cerebrum is the latest development of the human brain in the mammal's evolution. So, it is the bigger part, of, the biggest part of the brain, and it is involved with most of the higher functions of the human body and thinking. Also, the cerebrum is split in two hemispheres and uh, the brain itself consists of four parts which I will look in the next video. Then I'm going to the cerebral cortex. This is where the grey matter is and thinking is happening. And after sorting the parts of the, the bigger parts of the brain, I'm going to the cerebellum. Cerebellum. Yes, this is a small brain situated at the back of the head. And the cerebellum is Or the cerebellum, cerebellum primary functions is to control balance and coordinate movement. And while here it is, while I'm here in the near the cerebrum, I will place the corpus callosum. Corpus callosum. This is the part of the brain which connects the two hemispheres. The corpus callosum, it represents a stack of neurons connecting the two hemispheres. And then I will place the brain stem. Now, the brain stem is actually the brain of the reptiles. The reptiles don't have cerebrum because they are not evolved that much, so they have a brain stem instead. We humans do have a brain stem which primarily involves is involved in controlling the some lower functions. And uh, the brain stem consists of three parts of the brain. That is the midbrain, the medulla, and the pons, but I will look at them later. Now, I will place then the deencephalon here. Now, the deencephalon is a region in the core of the brain which contains a few glands. Again, I will place them in a while. Just let me place the lateral ventricle. This is the fourth lateral ventricle, and there are two from each side of the brain. Now, the ventricles are cavities in the brain, which are filled, filled with a transparent liquid, uh, which uh, supplies the brain with nutrients and helps to get rid of some unnecessary um, things or and ingredients, unnecessary ingredients. Okay, so which will I sort first the deencephalon or the brainstem? Well, let me begin with the deencephalon. It consists it consists of three three glands, and uh, we are safe to say that uh, glands are responsible for controlling 
functions of the body by releasing hormones while the brain parts are act to control direct movements or any action of the body. So the glands release hormones to control functions. And I will begin with the thalamus. The thalamus is a gland mostly responsible for awareness and alertness, which is very important for mammals who live in the wild. And uh, for us, it just startled us. <laughs> right? So the next gland in the dencephalon is the hypothalamus. Now, hypothalamus is a gland that is involved in the body temperature control, the hunger, the thirst, and the circadian cycle. Now, the circadian cycle is uh, the cycle that tells the body when to sleep if it is night and when to wake up when it is day. So, it is adjusted by the environ environment around the body. And also, it is involved in telling us when we are hungry or when we are thirsty and other things like that. Again, by releasing hormones. It is not a direct response to the body. And here in the Dencephalon, there is the, the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland. Now, the pituitary gland is maybe the gland of all glands. <laughs> or we, if we make a reference with the Master of the Ring book, where we have one ring to, con to control them all, here we have one gland to control them all. Um, now, the, the, p the pituitary gland is connected to the the endocrinic system directly and is responsible for wide range of functions and hormones release. <clears throat> okay, so when we are done with the encephalon, we are going to the brain stem, which is connected with a lot, a lot of uh, body functions in a low level. Let me place first the medulla. The medulla, the lower part of the brain stem, is connected with the, with the spine and the spinal brain. Okay, and, uh, and uh, some of the functions that it is responsible, those are some involuntary functions of the body, like uh, sneezing and vomiting, but not only for that, of course. Now, the pons on the other side, si situated in the both sides of the brain stem, they are responsible for breathe, breathe regulation mm, and also equilibrium. So we don't go to each side. And other involuntary movements. And then we go to the midbrain, which is connected with uh, sight, uh, sight, hearing, and uh, controlling the muscle skeletal system, especially with to reptiles, though that, th those functions in mammals are also in the connected are connected with the cerebrum. And the last part that I will sort, that is the hippocampus. 
hippocampus is connected to the limbic system and it is responsible for utilizing the long-term memory, short-term memory and spatial memory. So we the body is actually aware of where it is located. Now if uh, if we stay on a flat um, ground flat surface that is this is connected with short term memory so the hippocampus will tell how the equilibrium equilibrium should be right through the pawns and if the surface become with angle this is again connected with the short term memory where the organism is aware that he is in a angled surface and again will have to keep a balance and other things like that I think.